Hey YouTube, welcome back to Humps on the Hill, and in this video I'm going to be building, um, I guess you could call it a structure, a structure or a house for a new animal that's going to be coming here uh, in the next few days or so, so yeah, it's going to be a pretty good video, um, you guys just got to stay tuned. Okay, so I got the wood all loaded up and I'm going to take it back down to the barn. Um, and I'm just going to build it in the barn because there's a lot more space in there to build it and it's a lot more flat and even besides standing out here with all the we had gravel and grass and it's just not that flat out here to build a, a solid surface like what I want to build here. So yeah, see you back down at the barn. Okay, so let me explain kind of what I have here. I basically have six eight foot two by fours, and it's so I'm gonna make a hoop coop. That's what they're called, like a chicken tractor sort of thing. I'll probably put a picture up on the screen so you guys can see what it uh, looks like. But um, yeah, I'm gonna make a square down at the bottom, and then we're gonna get probably maybe today or tomorrow uh, what they're called cattle panels, and I'm gonna bend them over. Uh, top, so it's gonna make almost like a U over top of it. Um, so it should be pretty easy. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna tell you guys what we're gonna get, or if I'm just gonna keep it a secret till maybe the next video when we get them. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna start making kind of the box, the bottom of it, and uh, yeah. Okay, so basically what I'm going to do start uh, right now is I'm going to drill um, in right here, right at these ends here, and I'm just going to probably put two screws right here. Um, I'm going to use two and a half inch screws uh, for this just because it'll, it'll get in the boards and it'll hold a lot better than just like a two inch or a one and a half inch. Um, Alright, so first I'm just going to pre-drill. Um, and it'll help the screws go in a lot better in these boards. Uh, they're pretty soft, but it, it also just helps them from not cracking. Um, so, yeah. So I got uh, the box pretty pretty much drilled together. Um, now we're just waiting on the cattle panels to go over top of it, um, and then I can make the back to it and then the doors and kind of make it a lot sturdier. And then once we get the cattle panels on, I'm gonna put a tarp over it uh, so it's gonna be even more secure and uh, the animal won't get out. So.
Alright, it's day two of this build, um, and we actually just got the cattle panels. Uh, we just got back with them. We just got them from Tractor Supply. It's kind of dark in here. Let me turn on the lights. There we go. And so, yeah. Um, and then basically, what I'm going to do now is attach V nails to the bottom so it's all secure. And yeah, um, it might take a good while to do it, but um, it's something that needs to happen um, and it's going to make this whole project a lot better and sturdier. So. much got all the staples in um, now it's a matter of getting the back on and getting the front on and so basically it's kind of hard to explain um, but I'm just gonna do two two by fours one right there and like another one right there so it's gonna be two basically on one end um, and then there you'll you'll see what I'm saying when I start putting it together um, but that's gonna give this frame a lot more, be a lot more sturdier, and then same with the door once we had that. But what I did notice is these staples that I have aren't quite big enough. Um, they'll hold it for now, but I'm definitely going to need to do something in the future where it's going to hold it a lot better. But for now, it'll, it'll work pretty good, um, I think. And I have a staple in every possible thing I can get it into, so yeah. So now it's just a matter of getting the back on. Um, I got a saw to cut the tops off because they're, they're like eight feet, so they're gonna be too high. Um, and then what we're also gonna do is zip tie these two in the middle uh, so that doesn't come apart. But other than that, it should just be pretty good for now. So yeah, gotta put the back on um, and then we'll see what we can do for the front. So yeah. Okay, so it's uh, a little later, as you can see, it's pretty dark outside, got the lights turned on, and we actually just came from picking up um, the animal. Uh, we put them up at the, the house, and they're doing fine. Um, so, yeah, uh, so now I'm just gonna maybe stay here till a little more, um, gonna try to finish the back wall there, and then also gonna try to finish maybe the front wall maybe get the door spots in but for now I want to definitely try to do the back wall uh, so yeah let's uh, let's start doing the back wall okay so it's currently day three right now um, um, Woke up in the morning here, trying to finish it a little early today. So, basically, the battery died last night on the camera, and um, I couldn't really film the rest of what we did. But, um, yeah, we finished the back two frames, so, and then we got one of the door frames, I guess you could say, on. Um, so, yeah, one of these on. And then we also zip tied the uh, cattle panels together, so they're all nice and secure now. Nothing's gonna get through them. Um, but other than that, um, that's basically all all we did last night. And then I also just kind of added the rope. I don't know if you guys can see. I put um, a circle nail in there. I don't know what you call them. And then I just put, I basically just attached a rope to pull it, um, so that's also what I did last night. And then we also added these frames here, these 
wooden blocks because uh, in the past it would it just had one of those V nails in it um, and this block just gives it a lot more strength down there so yeah I'm gonna try to work on the other door part today see if I can get that finished and then maybe start on the chicken wire in the back um, or whatever wire we come up with so yeah I got the other door piece on, or frame piece, and then now basically what I'm going to do is see if I can use this chicken wire. It's kind of hard to see. We have a decent sized roll of chicken wire. It's not big, um, but I think it'll work for what we need to cover. Um, but it's also a little rusted up at the top and bottom, and some in the middle. So. I'm just trying to figure out whether I really want to use this or not. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of where I'm at right now. But, uh, yeah, it's coming together. It looks really good so far. Okay, so, little update here. Uh, got the back wall done with chicken wire. And then we also zip tied the chicken wire to the cattle panel. And then uh, now I'm just starting on the front here, so putting chicken wire up there, and then probably after that, um, I'll probably do the tarp. I'll probably get the tarp and put it over this cattle panel, um, and then <clears throat> we'll probably do the door, and after that it should be basically done. Um, <clears throat> we're thinking about putting wheels on on the at least maybe the back two corner. Um, boards just to help move it because it is pretty heavy but uh, yeah that's also one thing that we're also thinking about but so far so good so I'm gonna keep working on this front uh, section gotta get one more piece of wire up here and yeah Again, here I got the two. Oh, well, I still have to cut a little bit more chicken wire off, but I got basically the front done with all the chicken wire in the back. So now it's just putting the tarp on. Yeah, uh, gonna finish cutting this chicken wire off, put the tarp on, and I guess we'll go from there. Still gotta make the door though, the door is still open. Okay, just put the tarp on. Uh, this is basically what it's gonna look like. Um, I'm just gonna make it a little neater. But at the same time, we've run into a little bit of a problem with this tarp. Um, it does appear that it's too small. Uh, it just doesn't reach over fully on both sides. It, I mean, it'll work when they're bigger, um, but right now, the animal is pretty small still, so. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to get either a bigger tarp or, yeah, I think that's probably what we're gonna have to do. All right, so, just got back from the store and picked up a 
20 by 18, no, sorry, 18 by 20 feet foot tarp here. Um, so I'm going to open that up, <clears throat> see if that will work on this, um, and if it doesn't, then I don't know, but I think it will. I think it's plenty big enough. Um, we might actually need to fold it even at the bottom and on the sides to make it fit. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to open this tarp up, stretch it across, and we'll go from there. Oh yeah, this is, this is good. Actually, I think I'm going to try to just throw it all the way over top of the whole run. Or coop. So, see how that goes. Well, the door was too heavy, so enjoy these clips of me making it anyway, even though I didn't know it was going to be too heavy before we put it up. Also, Hurricane Debbie was going to hit us, so we needed to get this project done before it came. That's why I didn't film much of the tarp getting put on, because we needed all hands on deck for this project. So, yeah. Okay, so it's finally done. Uh, we finished the chicken tractor, and the reason why we don't have that much uh, video of the end and like putting on the tarp is we tried to get this whole thing done in a matter of like maybe four or three hours getting the the tarp on um, and then getting also the door on and moving it up to the homestead here so uh, that's why uh, I just tried to focus on mainly getting this done because like I said we needed somewhere to put this animal that we got in so um, I'm going to show you guys what we got for a new animal here and explain to you kind of um, all the other stuff that we did to this chicken tractor so and also we uh, put those the wheels on there um, as you can see so now I'm going to show you guys the new animal that we got here um, we actually got bourbon red turkeys uh, now these turkeys are um, only let's see six to four to yeah six to four weeks old um, right now but they will eventually get bigger um, into full size bourbon red turkeys that's what they're called um, they're from the bourbon county kentucky that's what they originally originated from so yeah let me uh introduce you guys to them and we'll go from there and the main purpose uh for these turkeys eventually is to grow them out, hopefully get a tom and maybe three or four hens, um, and then hopefully hatch some baby turkeys out either from the hens naturally or get an incubator and hatch them out. And then what we would further do is uh, maybe once the chicken or once the baby, once the turkeys are big enough, um, then we can process them and use them for meat because um, these are also. Uh, a very heavy bird I've researched um, so we can use them for meat or we can just sell the the baby turkeys to anybody who wants them so that's the main plan for the got for these guys and um, yeah now if you notice they have a green leg band and that's actually it's a uh, nothing to do with um, it's just so the person that we got them from so they could keep track of the age and how old they are more easily which I think is a phenomenal idea um, so yeah and eventually we're gonna take the bands off because they will get tight around the legs so um, probably in the next day or two I'll probably make like a small short about it um, on the channel so yeah be a lookout for that um, so yeah the leg bands will come off eventually and one interesting thing about these guys, besides chickens, is I, f I feel like chickens, when they're this age, won't really go for the grass. But as you can see here, um, we we had them, we had them over right there yesterday, and I mean it, it's starting to get some dirt, so they definitely tear up the grass. Um, but that's good; the grass will soon regrow. But yeah, these guys are pretty 
pretty great at eating grass. Um, so that's why we built this whole chicken tractor so they can be on fresh grass daily. Um, now we did get five turkeys to increase the odds of having a tom and two or three hens. Um, so as you can see that that one right there, um, it's a little bigger than the rest of them. And that is because uh, they only had, where we got them from, they only had four uh, turkeys that were four weeks old. And then, I don't know if I'm right or wrong on this, and then that bigger one was about six or five weeks old. So a week or two um, older, but same, it's, it doesn't bother them. Um, they get along pretty well. So, But other than that, that is the turkeys. Um, pretty excited that we got them. Definitely going to be really fun to have. Um, we ha we've had turkeys in the past. They were for meat um, and for 4-H. I don't know if I'm going to show these turkeys for 4-H. I might. Um, that could also be some future videos. Um, so, yeah, we'll just have to see. But that's all for the turkeys and all for this video. So, thank you guys for watching. It's probably going to be a pretty long video, but if you guys have watched uh, all through throughout the video. Thank you guys for staying with this video um, and watching through the end. But other than that, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay tuned for more turkey videos. And we actually also had an idea of um, the top comment or the most liked comment on this video. Um, we can name maybe this chicken tractor or yeah, I can get my wood burner and burn maybe like the turkey coop or something like that um, that'll that might be kind of cool uh, just to add some something to this so top comment on this video um, or most like comment uh, uh, um, put a name up on that board there and yeah